One of the hallmarks of the Prevent Cancer Foundation is to provide seed grants to researchers at any stage of their career who want to do something important about cancer prevention and early detection, typically in a medically underserved population. Dr. Craig Jordan, who's known as the father of tamoxifen, very early in his career, we gave him a grant that enabled him to show that this drug was able to prevent cancer in the other breast of someone who had had breast cancer. And that was the first drug that was ever approved to prevent cancer. And we were there at the beginning. We also funded the work of a woman named Anna Giuliano, who was doing research into the human papillomavirus, HPV, which we now have a vaccine for. But Anna did the seminal work to understand how this virus works. And our grant was her first independent funding. Dr. Kathleen Schmaler at MD Anderson, she's a GYN oncologist. And she has done a lot of work on the border between Texas and Mexico. So in the Rio Grande Valley, where the cervical cancer rate is way higher than it is in the rest of the United States. She took a $50,000 grant from us and leveraged it into $2 million from the state of Texas. She also works globally. She has a program in Mozambique. We awarded her $200,000, which she then leveraged into six million dollars from the USAID. That's an example of how we punch above our weight. Our community grants program reaches underserved populations and communities all across the country. We've given grants to groups serving African Americans, Latinos, American Indians, Alaska Natives, many Asian American groups, as well as LGBTQ community. So we look like America. What's important? What are the next steps? How do we get there to really stop this scourge of cancer? We have some bold goals for the future. And without all the people who volunteer their time to help this foundation be a success, we never would have been a success. And we never would have the impact that I think we've achieved over 35 years.